This is Buster Cunningham. He's 15 and enjoys sports, train spotting, and drinking. I'm married to the liquor. He's pretty much your average teenager. But Buster is no ordinary kid. Go read a book, nerd. Buster is a cyber bully. I've been a cyber bully for around six years now. It started out as a, as a way to take my anger out on other people, but it then transitioned into a hobby. From then on, I really found something I loved and it became my deep passion. Buster spends hours researching the background of each victim, looking for any information that could be useful. I see it as an art form, a way to capture my emotions through the medium of the internet. And you know, it is controversial, but no good artist is without their criticism. That's the way I look at it. Mobile phones are set to be banned across all public schools in Victoria. Mobile phones will be banned from all Victorian public schools next phones year. Phones in schools in Victoria, um, they're going to be banned. This all Students seems to be... having to turn their phones off and have them kept in their lockers. Well, Tom, the Education Minister says this is all about tackling cyberbullying. I think it'll reduce the incidence of cyberbullying. The move aims to tackle cyberbullying. Will help cut cyberbullying. When I first saw the Victorian 2020 phone ban, I felt devastated. I felt as if my freedom was being restricted and my creativity being limited and there's just nothing I can do about it. In the first week of the ban, Buster began to worry that cyberbullying would become a thing of the past. I don't believe in physical bullying. It's immoral and wrong. But not being able to express my creativity just makes me want to go over there and punch that kid in the face. What? Can't help it. He was struggling to find motivation. Ever since the phone ban, I've been in such a creative rut. I feel as if all the spare time I will get from not being out of cyberbully will rub off onto my work. But then, three weeks into the ban, Buster had an epiphany. What is this? William Shakespeare? What on earth? It's a book. I started going to the school library to think of new innovative ways to bully people. It's actually been really helpful. I use the knowledge I gain from books to bully people when I get access to my devices again. Yeah, 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 shut up, imbecile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you better shut up. Yeah, you're an imbecile. It's been a really eye-opening experience for me. I've been the happiest I've been in a long time. Salutations, nerd. I am willing to banter that your minuscule cranium is unable to process my elegant soliloquies. I am certain that you would struggle to comprehend my gigantus muscle that resides within my brow. Thanks to the Fitzroy High School Library, my son is motivated to do what he loves again. If someone has to suffer at his expense, then so be it. It's worth it to see him smiling.